my bath bomb jar is still actually looking a little bit sad even though i did top up the bath bombs that i bought the other day i think i need to just do like a big shop like bite the bullet and just buy like loads so i can fill it up just so it looks pretty because that's the reason i kind of bought this jar because i thought i'd always have bath bombs in it and it would always look pretty but it doesn't look particularly pretty right now i think i am gonna go for this one which is called bigfoot the focus on this camera is honestly so bad so i'm gonna use bigfoot i'm just gonna pop him there for now oh by the way this is so great if like me your bathroom has zero storage i got this from amazon and it's just perfect for this little section i don't know if maybe i should have got like a bigger one but i quite like that it sits under the bath there and like it's kind of in line with the bath and the towel rail which i quite like because i feel like it's pleasing to the eye i feel like if it was taller i don't know i feel like it would make the bathroom look a bit more cramped it just looks like really tiny and simple personally i use it for any bits i want out that i want to try as like a reminder so most of it's like pr bits i've been sent so like was very kindly sent some of this ren stuff i haven't tried any of this yet but have heard great things i have heard great things about ren so i'm excited to try that also i've got this i was sent this like a year ago in like a cult beauty package and i've never used it but i have heard amazing things about this and they're quite expensive and it's been honestly sat in my just like beauty box and then in here since i bought this for i literally want to say a year and i've never used it so i charged it up earlier and i'm gonna give it a go because apparently they are amazing i got sent some simple stuff which is nice so that's micellar water and then this is a moisturizer and then some biodegradable makeup wipes which is really interesting i'm not really a makeup wipe kind of gal but maybe if i'm like drunk or i just like can't be bothered to do skincare then these will probably come in quite handy um oh i've also got this i love simples serums they're honestly so good i've used their vitamin c one and i've used another one by them and i really really love them so keeping that on there and then oh, i just have a few toilet rolls spare toilet rolls because as i say i have no storage in this bathroom so i just keep them down there something about it just looks a bit weird i think it might be the black candle i don't think i'm about the black candle on the bath i think i need to swap that back out from my white one my neon one which is my favorite and also I like having three wicks, it just, it brightens it up more, um, but this is the finished product, it's not my favourite, it's very glittery, I don't know if you can see that, like glistening, and this bit is pretty, but it's not my favourite, like it hasn't filled the whole bath with this, which some of them do, so yeah, I wouldn't say that one's my favourite, but it's not the worst. Good morning. I had a shower and I washed my hair and as I was blow drying my hair, the postman came and I got this amazing package from Medic 8. I don't know if anyone's heard of them. And they've sent me like a whole, basically like a whole skincare routine. And I thought it was perfect timing. I'm going to start using them from today and I can let you know how I find them. I've never used anything from Medic 8 before, I don't think i'm remembering rightly so i've got like the daytime stuff and then i've also got like a cleanser which i won't use now obviously because i cleanse in the shower and then i've got like an overnight retinol and a night moisturizer so i'll use those tonight and today i will just do the daytime stuff oh i love this bottle this like packaging how nice. This is the Press and Glow Daily Exfoliating PHA Tonic with Enzyme Activator. I've actually really been loving my skincare routine recently and my skin, bar this that I woke up with this morning and I did pop it and now it's scabbed, which is really annoying. But otherwise, but otherwise I have been loving my skin at the moment. So I will really be able to tell with using these new products if I like them or not. This is the C Tetra Lipid Vitamin C Radiance Serum. Do you guys put your serum straight onto your face or do you 
put it in your hands and then rub it in. I don't actually know what the best, like what the best way to do is. I'm quite fussy with my serums. I like them to feel like they're actually doing something when I'm putting them on. I don't like when a serum just like disappears into your hand. Then I have the Advanced Day Total Protect Age Defying Moisturiser with SPF 30. It's quite thick. I love a thick moisturiser. I find it really interesting that all the packaging is different. Like it's all completely different. None of it's the same. Quite nice. I also had these delivered, which I am so excited about. So I fell into the trap and I bought these because I've seen them all over TikTok. So this is the Coco Cosmetics by Chloe Marshmallow Sponge, which basically went viral on TikTok. And then I also bought these, which are the like mini ones. Just filmed this whole thing and realized that my address was in the background. So don't know where I got to, but this is the main beauty blending sponge. I am so excited to use it. I've heard such great things and I was in desperate need of a new beauty blender. It was about nine pounds, I think, which isn't that bad considering the beauty blender, like the main beauty blender brand blenders my god theirs are like 18 pounds i think or like 16 pounds so can't do anything with one hand and then these are the little mini ones which are so cute so they're perfect for like concealer or getting in the little nooks and crannies so i'll probably use one for concealer one for powder one for maybe like little contouring i don't know but they come in a pack of four which i think is really good makeup is done and i did like the application of the sponges when you put them underwater they blow up so big so i would recommend if you do want to grab them i would get the small ones as well just because the big one doesn't really get in like your nooks and crannies that easily so the little ones are good for like getting in and like even doing like bits around your nose and stuff like that so that's like my advice made myself an iced coffee for while i attempt to pack for the weekend but there's like can you see that there's like bits floating in it and my milk isn't off but i do use coconut milk so i'm thinking like is it bits of coconut right i i threw the coffee it was freaking me out i couldn't do it i, I think it was coconut bit like bits of coconut but i don't remember there being bits of coconut normally in my coconut milk so I don't know. Now I'm packing for the weekend. I'm being picked up in about an hour. So in true Amy style, I am only just packing it now. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm packing kind of blind because I have no idea what we're doing on this weekend. As usual, my boyfriend tells me nothing. I asked him yesterday, like, what are we doing? Are we gonna be going for a walk? Do I need my new wellies? <laughs> are we gonna be having like quite a nice dinner? Are we going out for dinner? Are we going to a pub? Are we staying home? For me, they're all like totally different outfits. I know for some people, like, especially for boys, my boy anyway, he just his outfit's just the same from the second he wakes up to the second he goes to bed, no matter what he's doing. My outfit, however, changes so i'm taking my katie loxton weekend bag in terms of outfits i've packed i've packed leather pants i don't know if it's leather pants season just yet or not but i've packed leather pants and a graphic tee for which i will maybe wear one night for like one of the dinners then i've also bought this which i got from primark from the showroom the other week remember i told you i went and it's like a little a little knit gilet yeah gilet vest vest little knit vest quite sweet so i thought if i don't want to do the graphic tee i can do this and tuck it into the pants with like a belt tight in the waist and that might look quite cute jeans and a singlet just in case because i always take a singlet with me everywhere i go it's like my fail fail safe is that the saying fail fail safe if in doubt jeans in a singlet such a simple classic outfit but just looks nice and can be worn like kind of anywhere casual smart to the pub at home can be worn wherever basically i'm also then gonna take my little zara black like mesh top that i was wearing last week it will look nice basically with jeans and with the leather pants so like if i wanted to do leather pants both nights i could change out the top if i wanted to do jeans both nights i could like mix and match you know hoodie always take a hoodie just in case it's like cold obviously i'm going to someone's house i've never been before i have no idea like what the house is going to be like i don't know if we're gonna maybe sit outside and have a drink later it might be nippy so i always take like a big sweater or a big comfy hoodie then just in case we do go for like a walk or something like that or possibly for wearing to travel there in or travel back in i've just bought some gym leggings and then my black Tala long sleeve top which i will then pair with my zara 
reversible gilet. So yeah, that will be good for like a walk or traveling. Also going to pack some wine, take some wine with me. So typically I'm a Born Rosé gal and I'm not cheating on Born Rosé, but I was very kindly sent this wine, which is from this brand, Celador. Celador and Provence. Sounds delicious. It says, hey Amy, we hope you, that you love our latest 2021 vintage of rosé. So that's really sweet. Thank you so much to them. So I think I will take this with me. It'd be nice to try it with everyone. It's actually Ollie's birthday today, which is the reason we are going. So take that with me and then i will probably take one of these which is like a sparkling rosé from born it's really really delicious and it's quite nice for like a celebration or a special occasion because it's still rosé but it's fizzy so you can have it in like a champagne flute and it's just kind of a little bit more special than just like a normal rosé also forgot to mention i do actually have a discount code for born rosé if you want to get your hands on it it's literally my favorite rosé it's the only one i ever drink obviously i'm going to try this one and maybe I may have changed my mind by the end of the weekend, but if you use Amy O15, you can get 15% off anything from Born Rose. I had a bit of a last minute outfit change because I was wearing those Primark ribbed shorts, but I don't know, I felt a tiny bit awkward turning up in them. So I changed just to my, um, I think these are Adenola or are they Tala? They always get confused. I think. I don't know. Good morning from Sussex or Surrey. We're not actually sure. We've been having the debate all night. We're in Hazelmere, but I think it's where like Surrey hits Sussex. So we're kind of in both. And it is a stunning morning. So we're at our friends for the weekend and the garden is just beautiful. I will try and like show you around a little bit, but I don't want to obviously show too much. It's obviously not my house. Like decent to very well earning, as in this is not you, this is the <laughs> demographics. Oh. The girl who's like into fitness and shit. So we've got cucumber, lemon, raspberry, and mango. Hmm. I think I might try this one. A raspberry. Nice. Yeah, is that a good choice? Or do you think mango? I would go for the mango. Okay. That's it then. We can try both. Maybe later. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> no, so... It's got to be the length of the... Wait, Frank, wait, wait, Frank. Wait, 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 wait. I'm just explaining the rules. Now, should we just play? You can hit... <laughs> if you hit your ball into someone else's... Yeah. It's called croquet. It's called croquet. And that is when you put your ball to their ball and with your next turn, you have to hit their ball. You can either do it two ways. So I can use this one Mega to help me go through that one. Yeah. Or I can fuck them. Just do this, right? Like, you put your feet like on that. Them. Right. Are then... you allowed to put your foot on it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're right not really family. allowed to. Yeah, you deaf saw. <laughs> May I would be you. Well, play them, big dick. Bosh! Good work. <laughs> Thank you. We're not that good at this game, to be honest. Okay. But, you know. I'll start playing properly. You are playing properly. Don't pretend because you're not doing very well at the game. I am doing, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing well. You've only got three of mine in then. You did. That was a very good shot for me, that one. I don't think that was that great, but... Okay. Better luck next time. Oh! Fuck. I could win it. You could. You won't, but you could. I could. If I potted a ball, yeah, but not on fouls. I've only been taking I've one shot. I've only missed mine once. No, at the beginning I didn't either. I've only missed it once. You don't need to give me a, a, a one up. Why? Because you're no better at me than this game. 
So go on. Why are you giving me that all game? No, you haven't. You've taken two shots every time. Take your second shot. I haven't. But take your second you shot. Want to take a second shot. You, why are you acting like you haven't been? I haven't. You literally haven't played a normal game of football. Don't act like you've been treating me easy. I have been treating you easy. You haven't. You're just not very good at the game. <laughs> I'm afraid. No. You're yeah, wrong. yeah. Sadly. So it's not your sport. Sorry, Annie. I knew you could do that. Stand over there. Yeah. You know, I would have gone easier near the end, but you said to finish it, so I finished it. Frank. What? You played. Oh, I went in! What did I do? My ball! Did you put that in or did I get that in? I don't know. I got that in! I'm so good at this game. Yeah. It's better like that. Easy on me. I think easy on me. Look at that squirting. Oh Did you get that? Did you get that squirting? Yeah. <laughs> I love you all so much. So thank you so much for coming and making my B day and uh, for being great guests. So thanks so much. Thanks for having us. Thanks, thanks for having, having us. Cheers. 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 Love the bond. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>